Dr. Radhakrishnan, Good morning. former Chairman, uh, Space Commission and Secretary, Department of Space and uh, Chairman of ISRO. It's a rare privilege to, uh, to get to meet you and I very uh, much look forward to hearing uh, what your remarks today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us um, in this very special national SYMP session with India's Mars man. Dr. K. Radhakrishnan. Sir, it's uh, many thanks for agreeing to do this session. Uh, we will have with us today India's management students and aspiring business leaders. You are a catalyst of India's space aspirations and your leadership of this country's mission to reach Mars has fired up the imagination of all Indians, the new generation, as well as the old. Your book, My Odyssey, Memoirs of the Man Behind the Mangalayan Mission is awe inspiring and your story has motivated a large number of young Indians to focus on science and technology development. You have headed Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, in its crucial phase when India seriously entered the space race. And you have also been the chairman of the Space Commission and Secretary of the Department of Space. You have been the Director of Vikram Sarabhai Space Center and the National Remote Sensing Agency. In addition to space, you have also looked after India's Marine Science Affairs as the Director of the Indian National Center for Ocean Information Services. You continue to serve us and our government as a member of the Space Commission and as an honorary advisor to ISRO. In recognition of your rare and substantial contribution to our country's development, you have been awarded the Padma Bhushan by the government of India. Now you are contributing your vast scientific and administrative expertise in the running of India's IITs. You chair the standing committee of the IIT Council and you chair the boards of IIT Kanpur and IIT Roper. Sir, you excel not only at science, but also in art. You are an accomplished Karnatak music vocalist and a Kathakali artist. Dr. Radhakrishnan, it's an honor to have you and a very warm welcome in this session. The Shaping Young Program is what it uh, says it is. It's about helping young students see the world through the eyes of the high achievers so that they also aspire and work towards making a big impact on the world. It is an interactive program and students engage the distinguished speakers in a conversation and ask for their views on work, career, and life, and also their advice on acquiring the necessary habits and attitudes to become high achievers. However, before we start the interaction, I would request our guest, Dr. Radhakrishnan, to tell us about his life, career, and philosophy. Sir, it's my privilege and honor to request you to deliver your address. Thank you, Shiv Siddharth Kaur. I also thank AIMA and Mrs. Rekha Sethi and colleagues for this kind invitation and all the young minds who are around this program in various parts of India for their participation. And we look forward to a good interaction in the next few minutes. I started my career about 51 years ago after my engineering and I have been associated with the Indian space program. And also, as she mentioned, on use of space program for different areas of resources management, land, water, ocean, etc., etc. One thing I should say that it's a satisfying experience for anyone to be associated with India's space program. When I started my career in ISRO in 1971, the world was different. It was a bipolar world. Space was something 
for showing the prowess of these nations. And what they were looking at that time was to go to moon and also use this for the competition. But today, if you look at it, things have changed. 50 years ago, only mighty nations went into the pursuit of space, science, and technology. But today, there are about 80 nations of various dimensions getting into the space activity. There are private entrepreneurs getting into space. There are new space protagonists. And a lot of young minds, stay space startups have come to stay. And they are all in the cutting edge frontier areas. So there is a great opportunity in store for all of you engineers, scientists, managers, to get into different areas of space. When you talk about space, one of course is to understand about the humanity that is the exotic, exciting space science. On the other side, it generates technology, which is essential for the growth of the nation. And thirdly, it has a wonderful power for serving the humanity. A lot of services. So if I talk about space, there are five E's. One is, of course, the exploration of the entire universe. Second is exploitation of the resources that one can look for from moon or Mars or such celestial objects. Then there is a great enterprise. When you talk about space as a medium for humanity, human service, for strategic services, for developmental activities, for human well-being, to talk about thousands of satellites to be in the orbit, launching them, operating them, servicing them, ensuring that they are secure there, so this offers a new enterprise called space enterprise. And today, it is something like 400 billion US dollars space economy. So it has got its own niche in the global economy today. And finally, it calls for cutting edge technology engineering. So there is scope for everyone in this area whether we talk about unmanned emissions or the human being taken to moon or dreaming about a habitat in space, in Mars, after some time, there is a lot of scope for all these five areas of activity. And it is called rocket science. It's something which is very demanding. Many things are not known. And when we get into it, we should have steel nerves. We should be ready to face failures, learn from the failures, and move ahead. It's a collective activity. It is not individual excellence that matter here. It is the collective or team excellence, working as a team, thousands of people together making a rocket and getting it ready for the launch. And the entire rocket doing that job in 10 to 15 minutes, it can break or it can become a grand success. The difference or the difference between the success and failure is very thin there. So it's a very exciting, exciting, exciting area. So I would request all of you to look for opportunities, how you can get into space, how you can make use of space. And there are several opportunities.